Previously on the channel, we covered the Ability Choice mod, which adds basically two new abilities to every tower in the game. It changes them and customizes them to be actually so cool. So the way it works is you can have three different abilities on a tower, a blue, yellow, and red, and each have different effects. So the yellow is just the normal ability. The red icon is a permanent effect, but weaker on the tower. And then the blue one is an integrated pattern passive new ability that's added to the tower and we didn't actually get to cover all of them in the last video so today we're going to be looking at some of the coolest ones before we jump into the game we actually have to set which abilities we want going into the game unfortunately we can't change them in the game so we have to make sure we have what we want so for dart monkey gains permanent super attack speed and range itself or we have it so up to three nearby dart monkeys including itself are permanently super monkey fans I kind of want to see what the permanent super attack speed and range are. That seems awesome. Moderate attack speed increase and boomerang shock balloons. That seems amazing. I actually want to stick with that one. So we can have it so main attacks do further increase MOAB damage with more range. Or we can have frequently shoots out mini MOAB assassin missiles. And that's definitely the one we want. That seems really cool. Honestly, the attack shooter is insane. Having this ability where it shoots out homing blades with increased range is absolutely devastating. But I'd rather have it so that it just periodically freezes all balloons on screen for one second. I think that's amazing. So the glue will weaken balloons making them take increased damage and be vulnerable to sharp sources. That's definitely what we want. I want to get the monkey ace and we're going to change it to the red ability where it occasionally just drops mini star bombs. That's awesome. All right, let's get this party started. Ooh, ooh. There are some epic towers that I want to try out here and try to get just like the absolute most out of it. I want to be trying to go late game this time because last time we, I think we went up to the BAD, but this time I want to get every single tower and all of their abilities and actually just full send it to see how amazing and powerful these guys really are. I went through and did customize all of them to what I think is going to be the coolest option for it. So we definitely have that to look forward to. Also, I want to get the beast handler. Because the beast handler is going to be so cool. Because I think the Tyrannosaurus, like, automatically just beats up a loop. I want to put him right here. Put him right there in the middle. That's going to be really cool if we can get that to work. I also want to get the monkey nomic because it'll just periodically just give us 10,000. I don't even have to worry. I don't have to hit the button. I don't have to worry about it. It just, it just works out. What is this video? This video is all about abilities and I don't got any abilities. I want to do the heli pilot where... A monkey marine attacks from inside the heli with a machine gun. So he's literally just always inside. I actually changed the sniper monkey where it occasionally just drops cash. So it kind of just always is dropping money. And I think that might be pretty neat. Preemptive strike where ballistic missiles do more damage, further increases against Moab and ceramics. So it's like the odd, like having the blue ability is definitely my favorite. I think it's the coolest out of all of them. Just because it adds something new, right? It's not like it's a permanent, because you could just add a tech bot to it. It's kind of like a more permanent version of it, right? Also, I looked at something and I'm kind of freaking out over here. The Ultra Boost Engineer. If you're on the blue ability, all towers in range have further increased attack speed. So we can, we can literally just put that tower next to the village and everyone around it will have permanently increased attack speed. We get a ninja. Yeah, we get a ninja. There we go. We're only going middle path on towers, by the way, except banana farms. We'll have our village here. And then our engineer will be here. And we'll, I'll get an alchemist, okay? I'll get an alchemist, a permabrew alchemist, okay? I think, I think that's reasonable. Okay, that's reasonable. But other than that, we're going to get every tower. Are we okay? I need a sniper. That's what I need. That's why I put these guys down here. I guess I'm going to put the sniper. He's going to be chilling on this chair right here. Boom. All right, there we go. We can get him a supply drop. So now the supply drop will just randomly... Am I okay? Am I going to lose here? I think I'm... Oh my goodness. I almost lost. That would have been kind of sad. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, I got free money. Nice. All right, we got the first banana research facility. Let's start working on getting some abilities here. So I want to get this engineer monkey. So the first one is overclock, which is $14,000, which is, a, which is okay. It's a little expensive. All towers in range now just get increased attack speed. So now he kind of just has an aura that everybody around him. And look at this aura. It's a really big range. That's a huge range. Our time master chilling on the beach here with this nice ladybug. Right, he's out here just vibing. He's hanging out, having a blast with everybody. Village, we're gonna need bigger radius, jungle drums, and then obviously call to arms. Permanently moderate nearby attack speed. Okay, 
So if we get, I want Super Monkey Fan Club. I want to see how powerful he is. Thanks for the free money. Super Monkey Fan Club. Whoa, that's a lot of range. That's a crazy amount of range, actually. What? We could actually move him down to like here. Because look at that range. What the heck? Look at this. Long range enhanced eyesight. That's insane. And he gets more range, I think. Let's see. Holy cow! Did you see that? That is so good. He just sprays darts now. Oh, I would honestly buy this if this was the normal Super Monkey Fan Club. All right, let's get the Plasma Monkey Fan Club and see how... Okay, this sniper, he's cool, but he's got to go. I want to see... Oh, oh, my druid's also over here getting all the pops. Holy cow! This guy is gnarly. Look at how powerful he is. And also he has the he has the oh, the engineer boost and also the moderate attack speed boost from that. But we can get the perma brew. Also having perma brew. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be crazy. Look at his range now. He can't be stopped. Put our boomerang monkey right here in the range of everybody. And so I want to see what the shock ability does, so we can get perma charge. Okay, but he's too powerful. We were, we're actually too strong. I need to, we need to skip rounds. Let's just go up to round 95. Like actually skipping all the way to round 95. We just have two towers attacking. So we can get the ultra boost. So does the, oh, so he just adds the shock to it too. Okay. So that's not crazy, crazy, but that's still pretty awesome. And then Homeland Defense. We're on round 95 and these two towers alone are just popping everything. That is insane. We already won round 95 with just two towers. I mean, we have some support towers, right? But look at this. This guy alone, I would... That makes this tower super busted. Super duper busted. So if we go ahead and get the Moab Assassin, does it automatically... Oh, look at the, look at the little Moab! The mini Moabs, that's amazing. I love that. That's so good. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get our boat. And we can go ahead and get the monkey pirates and then the pirate lord. And then definitely faster shooting and double shot. Because I think that'll duplicate the cannons even further. And then the middle one. What does this do? So, automatically triggers a powerful missile for attack whenever Moab class spawns from the balloon. Ballistic missiles do more damage, further increased. In first strike capability, ballistic missiles do more damage. So, oh my gosh. So, this just basically makes ballistic missiles insane absolutely insane all right the b the bad just died it it literally just died right off the bat all right let's keep going down the line so we need to get our blade maelstroms well let's max that out with just more attacks the glue gunner what do we have for the glue gunner so glue weakens and slows balloons further whoa okay so the, b the balloons are just gonna be s oh my gosh look at his range what the heck Let's get stickier glue and stronger glue. He attacks crazy fast. And Ice Monkey. Ice Monkey we can just put here. So with Ice Monkey, let's see, periodically freezes. So periodically freezes all balloons on screen. So how often does he do that, though? That's the question. And then definitely permafrost and cold snap. I haven't seen him use the... But he's, like, constantly... Oh, look! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that. So he does just freeze balloons. Look, they're frozen up there. Frozen. And they're glued. Wait, it it's permanent? Okay, that's 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 kind of OP. Super OP. Alright, let's go ahead and get the elite sniper. And we can get deadly precision. And the plane just drops constantly drops mini star bombless, I believe. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at it. It literally is just non-stop Sar Bombas. Okay, and then we'll also have it on centered path so it just goes around constantly. All right, that's not broken at all. Okay, it's really broken. And now we can go ahead and grab our heli pilot. Where can we fit this guy? It's not in range of the village, unfortunately, but that's fine. All right, so we can get downdraft, support Chinook, and then the special operations. So now he just has the sniper inside the building at all times. Okay, we definitely want to make sure the super monkey is here. And then we can just get the tech terror. The wiz- I think the wizard monkey? Let's take a look. The wizard monkey should permanently have the wizard lord. So someone's a somewhat powerful lava phoenix. So it just- So the lava phoenix? Oh, we don't even have enough money? What is this? Alright, Mr. Time Master, skip some rounds for us. We need this- We need more money. Okay, so summons a somewhat powerful lava phoenix. 
So, and there's, wait, and he's also here? That seems kind of crazy, actually. We're like running out of room. We're running out of room. Grand Saboteur? Uh, what does Grand Saboteur do? So, ninja attacks have further increased range and pierce do more damage to stronger balloon types. Not bad. And so the alchemist is just, transforms just itself permanently into an even more powerful monster. So he's just a crazy powerful guy now. In fact, we'll give him faster throwing. Oh my gosh, look at how many acid pool he's putting down. It's hard to see, but it's definitely there. We can put a pontoon right here. And then we can put the druid and it has range of everything. And it's in the perfect spot for its thorns. And so for the red, so vines nears the spirit forest and it periodically just gives us lives. Which seems pretty neat. Oh my gosh, he's already at 15 to 20,000 pops. What the heck? And the spike factory, carpet of spikes. So regularly sets a carpet of spikes over the whole track. And can I, where can I fit this guy? Is there anywhere on the map? I want to make sure it gets like the bonuses. Well, I guess it's going to get the village no matter what. Oh, right. It gets the, it gets the village buff no matter where it is. So it doesn't even matter. And then like how fast is carpet of spikes? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Carpet of spikes is crazy. We already got the village. We already got this. It's time for the beast handler now. So as long as the beast handler's in range, that's good. All right, so Tyrannosaurus Rex, and we can put the T-Rex just like right there. And we just need more beast handlers, right? So let's just get a bunch of beast handlers and just merge them. Okay, so now we can get this guy. So we're at 84, so we need a couple more. So Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's at 100. We need two more, okay. So you need six of them total to get the max uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, here's all of the abilities now. Let's go ahead and get to, that was round 140. Let's skip to round 200. Normally these towers would not be able to beat round 200. Normally this would never happen. It absolutely demolished them. The Beast Handler already has 300k pops. 3 million pops on Preemptive Strike. That's doing very well. Monkey Ace is not doing that well. Heli Pilot's crushing it. Wizard Monkey's crushing it. Beast Handler, 5 million pops. Okay, that's to be expected. 1.8 million pops on the Sniper. Why is that? That seems crazy to me. That's, why does, I don't know why that has so many pops. 10 million on the Super Monkey. That's to be expected. We didn't get the bank. I want to get the bank. And Monkeynomics just constantly gives us money, which is very nice. It's just like, ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Wizard Lord, 3 million pops. Peace ever to everybody, 1,000 million pops. 23 million pops. This mod is insane. Oh, no. Oh, no, I think this is it. I think this, oh, the BAD is going to get by. No, the BAD is what really did us in at the end. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, please, you know what to do. Show your love and support, and I'll see you tomorrow.